In question one, we are given a number of different situations. For each situation, we have to set up an equation and solve it to find the unknown number in each situation. Okay, so let's start with the first situation, the first part. Add four to eight times a number, you get 60. So we have to set up an equation for this situation and then we have to find the unknown. The unknown is this number that is being referred to. So let's assume that the unknown number unknown number is x. So x is what we have to find. Okay, so add 4 to 8 times a number. So 8 times x, 8 times the unknown number will be 8x. If you add 4 to this, you will get 8x plus 4. And we are told that you get 60. So 8x plus 4 should have a value of 60. And hence the equation we get is 8x plus 4 is equal to 60. Now we can solve this equation and find the value of x. So to solve this equation, we can first uh, take this 4, transpose it to the right side so that it becomes uh, minus 4. So we will get 8x is equal to 60 minus 4 or 56. And now we can take, uh, we need to get rid of this 8 so we can divide both sides of the equation by 8. So we will get x is equal to 56 by 8 and 56 by 8 is equal to um, 56 by 8 is 7. So x is equal to 7. So the unknown number in the problem is 7 and we can verify that the answer is correct. If we take 8 times 7 that's 56 and 56 plus 4 is 60. So the answer for part A is 7. All right, now let's do the next part, part B, which says one fifth of a number minus four gives three. So again, we have some unknown number. One fifth of that number minus four gives us three. So let's again assume that the unknown number is x. Okay, now let's form an equation in x. So one fifth of this number, one fifth of x, we can write this as x by 5 and 1 fifth of the number minus 4. So if we subtract 4 from this, so this whole thing should be equal to 3. So the equation we get is x by 5 minus 4 is equal to 3. Now we can solve this equation and find the value of x. So to do that first we can take this minus 4 and transpose it to the right side so that it becomes plus 4 and we can write x by 5 is equal to 3 plus 4 or 7. And now to get rid of this 5 in the denominator, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 5. So we get x on the left side and on the right side we get 7 into 5 or 35. So the answer in part b is that the number is 35 and we can check that the answer is correct. 1 fifth of 35 is 7. 7 minus 4 gives us 3. All right, now let's do the third part, part C, which says, if I take 3 fourths of a number and count up 3 more, I get 21. So again, let's uh, assume that the number that we have to find, the unknown number, let's assume that this unknown number is equal to x. So the problem says, if I take 3 fourths of a number, so first I have to take um, 3 fourths of this number. So 3 fourths of x will be 3x by 4. And then the problem says, if I count up 3 more, so this is the second operation that we have to do on x. So counting up 3 more would mean adding 3 to this number going up um, by 3. So 3x plus 4 3x by 4 plus 3 is what we do to count up 3 more. And this whole thing, we are told uh, we get 21 if we do this. So, so 3x by 4 plus 3 should be equal to 21. This is the equation uh, that gets formed in the unknown x. Now to solve this equation, we can take this 3 first and transpose it to the right side so that it becomes minus 3. So we have 3x by 4 is equal to 21 minus 3 or 18. Now 
in the next step we can what we can do is we can um, multiply both sides of the equation by 4 so that we get rid of this uh, denominator 4 so if we do that we will get 3x on the left hand side and on the right hand side we get 18 into 4 or 72 finally we can get rid of this 3 by dividing both sides of the equation by 3 so we will get x is equal to 72 by 3 which is equal to 24 so the answer in part c is that the unknown number is 24 and we can verify that this is correct if i take three fourths of 24 that's 18 and if i count up three more from 18 i get 21 which is what we are told so the answer in part c is 24 now let's do part d now part d says when i subtracted 11 from twice a number the result was 15 so again we have some unknown number let's assume that this unknown number is x you can take any other uh, letter also but uh, let's take it as x so now we are told when i subtracted 11 from twice a number so the first thing we can do is take twice the number so twice the number will be 2x 2 times x and now I subtracted 11 from twice this number so two so the result I will get is 2x minus 11 and we are told that the result I got was 15 so 2x minus 11 should be equal to 15 this is the equation that gets formed in this case now we can solve this equation and find the value of x so to do that we can take this minus 11 first and transport transpose it to the right side so that it becomes plus 11 so we get 2x is equal to 15 plus 11 uh, which means that 2x is equal to 26 now we have to get rid of this 2 to do that we can divide both sides of the equation by 2 and if we do that we get x is 26 by 2 and 26 by 2 is 13 so the value we get for x is x is equal to 13 so the answer in part d is that the number is 13 and we can check that that's correct so twice the number is 26 and when i subtract 11 from 26 um, i will get 15 which is what we are told uh, in the problem statement so that completes part d now let's do part e so part e says munna subtracts thrice the number of notebooks he has from 50 he finds the result to be 8 so the unknown in this case is the number of notebooks we don't know the number of notebooks so let's assume that the number of notebooks is equal to n and we have to find the value of n now uh, what we are told is that munna subtracts thrice the number so thrice the number will be 3n and he subtracts this from 50 okay so let's write thrice the number of notebooks so thrice the number of notebooks will be 3n and he subtracts this number from 50 so what he does is basically calculate 50 minus 3n and we are told that the result he gets is equal to 8 this is what we are told so the equation we get is 50 minus 3n is equal to 8 now we can solve this equation and find the value of uh, n so to do that let's take this 50 and transpose it to the right size right side so we get minus 3n is equal to 8 minus 50 uh, which means that minus 3n is equal to minus 42 and now we need to get rid of this minus 3 because we need to find the value of n to do that we can divide both sides of the equation by minus 3 so we get n on the left side and on the right side we get minus 42 by minus 3 so the minus signs cancel out and 42 by 3 is 14 so we get the value of n as n is equal to 14 so the answer in this case is um, the number of notebooks is 14 and we can verify that this answer is correct thrice this number is 42 and if we subtract 42 from 50 we get 8 which is what is given to us so that completes part e now let's go to part f 
So in part F, the statement is Ibn Hal thinks of a number. If she adds 19 to it and divides the sum by 5, she will get 8. So we have some unknown number that uh, she thinks of. So let's take this unknown number to be x. And now we will form an equation in x. So what are the two things Ibn Hal does with this number? She adds 19 to it first. So if she does that, she will make x plus 19. And then she divides the sum by 5. So basically she divides x plus 19, this number, this sum by 5. And we are told that she gets 8. So the equation we will get is x plus 19 by 5 should be equal to 8. Alright, now we can solve this equation and find the value of x. So first to solve this equation, we need to get rid of this 5. And to do that, we can multiply both sides of the equation by 5. And if we do that, we will get x plus 19 on the left side. And on the right side, we get 8 into 5 or 40. And now we can take this 19, take it to the right side, transpose it to the right side, so the, uh, right side so that it becomes minus 19. So we will get x is equal to 40 minus 19 and 40 minus 19 is equal to 21. So the answer for part f is that the number that Ibn Hal thinks of is 21 and we can verify that this is correct. If she adds 19 to 21, she will get 40 and if she divides 40 by 5, she will get 8 which is what is told to us. So that completes uh, part f. Now finally let's do part g. In part g, the statement says Anwar thinks of a number if he takes away 7 from 5 by 2 of the number uh, this much times the number the result is 11 by 2. So once again there is some unknown number that uh, we don't know what it is Anwar thinks of some number so let's say that the unknown number is equal to x. Now what Anwar does is he calculates 5 by 2 of the number and then he takes away 7 from um, that result. Okay, so 5 by 2 of the number is 5x by 2 and from this number he takes away 7. So from this number he subtracts 7 and this gives him 11 by 2. So the equation we get is 5x by 2, 5 by 2 of the number, take away 7 you get 11 by 2 so equal to 11 by 2 and now we have to solve this equation as a first step let's take minus 7 transpose it to the right side so that it becomes plus 7 so we will get 5x by 2 is equal to 11 by 2 plus 7 which we can write as 11 by 2 plus 14 by 2 which we can write as 25 by so the equation we get is 5x by 2 is equal to 25 by 2. Now we can get rid of this 2 on the left side by multiplying both sides by 2. So if we do that, we will get 5x on the left side. On the right side also, we will get 25 by 2 times 2. So that's 25. And finally, from here, we need to eliminate or get rid of this 5. So we can divide both sides of this equation by 5 and that will give us x equal to 25 by 5 or 5. So the number that Anwar thinks of is 5 and let's verify that this is correct. 5 by 2 of this number will be 25 by 2 and if he takes away 7 from this number so we, he will get 25 by 2 minus 7 which is 25 minus 14 by 2 which is 11 by 2. So the answer 5 is correct. That completes part g and with that we have uh, completed the whole question. To learn more about how QMath can help you crack school and board exams, explore QMath Leap, a live online classroom program run by highly experienced and committed teachers.